the one that has the first song or not? Mm. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> She's not doing so. <laughs> this is actually, we're far we're from beyond. the future. We're from the future. And, and we're coming back to episode one. <gasps> absolutely. And we want you to say, don't judge us based on episode one. Please don't. I mean, this you know, is like, we're still cute. Actually, actually is this? Well, are we cute? We're still? a lot older and probably fatter. <laughs> and we added a third. And we've added a third. We're a throuple. And we're not having a third anymore. Also, I have a marijuana problem now. <laughs> <laughs> we are today because I personally think it's definitely different. Gay. It's different. Definitely And different. I'm actually a fan. I'm not actually a fan. Oh. So make sure you subscribe and enjoy episode number one if you choose that door. Ew. Gross. <laughs> I've, we've grown so much. Oh, my God. Um, this was... Yeah. This was 150. Okay, I like it. Yeah, this is only 50 episodes <laughs> ago. So well. The podcast that is unhinged and unfiltered. <laughs> you loved this. With a side of I love this too. <laughs> uh. Now, here they are Bobby and his buds. Oh. Why did I like this so much? You loved it. I think you were high when you found it. She's not doing so well. Hi. I'm Bobby. I'm Jim. Jim's the main bud here. <laughs> Ew. Oh my god, I can't listen to it. <laughs> no, keep going. Turn. I gotta hear. Best bud. Best bud. <laughs> and like I said, this is she's not doing so well. I'm and horrified. Like I said. Podcast, as you know, because you downloaded from As you know, like I said. Platform. Is this an official podcast? It's official. Like it's actually on... official now. Is this episode yeah. one though? Yes. Wow. Well, not. Oh, I thought this was 150 <laughs> still. I was like, I was like, oh god. <laughs> no. I was like that was only 50 ago. Oh, no, this is episode one. No, okay. But we just got access to iTunes. Please take a moment to find the nearest gay exit. We're <laughs> worldwide. Maybe we should do two. I thought you meant right now. I was like, I will. <laughs> like really? during the off. Yeah. I mean, but I, I really want to hear the theme song that's on this one. <laughs> it's sort of trying to find my voice within I don't know, like see how nervous. This is when I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, but I do. I, like, I we were so I we were so shaky. Scared. Yeah, we were scared as fuck. And then I just want to find make sure I get the theme song going. She's not doing so well. <sighs> this one. She's not doing so well. Send your questions and get advice. Bobby, Bobby and Jim, Bugs, they're really, really nice. nice. With new topics every week, it's everything. LGBT. She's not doing so well. Welcome to She's Not Doing So Well, the podcast that is unhinged and unfiltered, but with a <laughs> Why don't I, sweet no, no, no. We had a theme song and cut, a theme kitty, music. Cut, 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 cut. I wanted them, I want to butter like them theme up. Theme song, theme music. Yeah, like theme. <laughs> Okay, so where's the one where we actually like there was a part in the song that we sang like me and Miz would always sing it um oh yeah we, <laughs> there was a time where we had a different song <laughs> god we always have a different song and it was like Korean you said but it <laughs> sounded like English briefly welcome to She's Not Doing It So Well yes podcast <laughs> kitty cat cat purr <laughs> What? Featuring Bobby. I don't want to be viral. I want to be inspirational and life changing. Because oh listen, I'm edgy. You fuck. Jim. At the top. What can I say? Finally, he's just like, you can unfollow me if you yeah. don't like my body. The Miz. Oh my God, tell me all about it. <laughs> I'm in New York, right? But you like it mushroom shape? <laughs> <laughs> Miz is looking out into the Oh my god, that's not it. I swear there was this a part. Is our New York I'm City. Just laying here that like wasn't it. There was another fuck. one too, like right before yeah. Miz left. Oh my god. Um this is incredible. I th think Yeah, I so texted we're done with you. The volleyball story. Oh no, sorry. No. We can, so we after can cut it. we can <laughs> cut it. I was like you're going to This week on not well. Ms. Leaves Not Well. Oh. We talk about auras. Oh, yeah. Hanukkah, I forgot Santa about Claus, the rap song. Jen Psaki, yeah, I like Sex this Lives of College Girls. You've never met a boring fat person. What kind of book would we write? It's the drama. <laughs> She's not doing so well. <laughs> So that was me being drama. <laughs> that was so dramatic. That was me being a dick. <laughs> really Wait, nice. This, Point. Uh, I think this I is the one that went has the like so stupid. Theme song. This week on Not Well, Bobby's sick from the holiday. Bob Chief and Wiley okay, Wade hold on. Best with us and Lube. Stadium seating. Lube. Random Hanukkah decorations. Love languages. Becoming a side. 
<laughs> Democrats fucking Republicans. Yeah. Why did crazy loud and wavy come and stares with us? And baby, if you not well, come and laugh with us. Jim and Bobby in the midst, that's the team. Yeah. So sad. This is raw, ain't no telling. <laughs> not really. Genius, hello, witty, making words spin. Bob Chief and Wiley waiting on the world's end. It's good for the laughs, giving out a care. When you see him, then it might just be some drama there. A lot of flair. Come rock with the team, we live. Okay. Just like me. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to. Okay, so that's enough of the intros. That's incredible. We've had a lot of intros. It's kind of weird when you look back on, like, because I think the. Well, let me just introduce ourselves now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, episode number 200 of Not Well Podcast. I'm Bobby. I'm Jim. And uh, I can't believe we're here. Like, literally. I, yes. I mean, did you ever think no. 200? No. I didn't. And also, can I just Actually, say, though, you did. we're really, well. Yeah, we're blessed. No, but the, th- <laughs> what the we fuck are, are you trying so to say? We are so fucking blessed. No. No, but we're like consistent as fuck. Like I hate yeah, to break it to everybody, but like we are really fucking dedicated because I don't think we missed like a couple weeks here or there in the last. Oh, that's it. Yeah. So there I there could to... be a nuclear holocaust outside. And I'm like, are we gonna like... record? He's like, oh god. I'm like, please. I know there's a nuclear rain happening, or what is it called? <laughs> I don't even know. What is that? When acid rain? Yeah. Is that what that is? Acid rain. I don't know. Drink your juice, Shelby. I got my vodka from yesterday. Um, I love you have day old vodka, just like it's fine, ready it's little, to go. It's a little lemonade, and little it's lavender, in a giant. This is actually container. Sarah's um, breastfeeding bottle from the trip. She used to put her breast milk in here, oh, wow. and now I use it that's as. So, <laughs> that's smart. It's really good. And now I use it as mommy's milk, a vodka. It's all medicine for the life. <laughs> is that what Sarah's breast milk tastes like? Um, vodka. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up vodka. Um. <laughs> No, I just had a weird, like, never mind. I'm not even going there. Like, what would your breast milk taste like? No, I think a lot of people have wondered. I've wondered what it tastes like. Is it, I don't like, think, sweet and creamy? I think creamy? it's a little soury. I don't think it's Like a, buttermilk? Mm, yeah, like, I think there's a little sour twinge. Because some babies like buttermilk. My brother really liked the buttermilk. I can tell your brother liked that buttermilk because, He's thick. He is thick. He's I'm surprised, thick like, nobody's in here. No last one time, cares. literally, I had at least 12. So... Keep drinking, honey, because maybe the dreams will come true. <laughs> maybe on episode four hundred, we'll get maybe we'll get to watch. we'll get ten people to come in. I, I didn't really advertise very well. Either. Episode I mean, four hundred, you're over forty. Everyone's just like, oh, no. <laughs> they're like, well, I thought he would have retired by now from like, life. Right? Here's another theme song and another fucking another five theme songs. You mean? I'm like, oh, how is I just love the drama. I yeah, really you do. do like drama. I don't know if you've ever watched any of my videos, my drone videos or anything. I love the drama. Yeah, you like dramatic I love music. The music. I That's set true. the tone. And honestly, you it are works. dramatic in real and life. And I'm dramatic. So. Yeah. So I, I like to use my drama ads um, for this. I don't even know. Oh, no. This is not <laughs> He's good. high as hell. Well, it wouldn't be a, an episode without me being high. Well, and it's no. episode 200. You should be really high. And, I, and in classic form, you're also drinking. <laughs> Yeah, at some point they're gonna be like, "Well, um, so we're taking it back to our years. roots." Like, is his liver okay? Actually, I don't really drink that much. You don't here and on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday if it's a holiday. Well, I mean, <laughs> Tuesday if it's recording. I only drink like weekends and holidays, and Friday is considered the weekend. <laughs> Um, <laughs> For me, it's a victory if I haven't had wine in two days. I'm like, I haven't had wine since Sunday, and it's like Wednesday or Thursday. I'm like, it's like, oh, no. That's Monday, Tuesday. That's the only two days I didn't drink. Not to get too far <laughs> into this, but do you ever feel like... Um, you have a problem? No, but like when you don't drink for a couple days in a row, then yeah. you start feeling better? Yes. Okay. No. That's just, okay. If I go to bed and it's like I didn't drink that night, I do sleep better. Same. Like I fall asleep quicker after drinking, but I never feel better better the next day resting like resting wise yeah like resting bitch face wise wow you're such a c word um so yeah thank you for coming back and back and back and back because we wouldn't keep doing this if it wasn't if we didn't have you coming back then you wouldn't have our backs but can i just say something though i really do just enjoy this like i've always said that but like i used to be a lot more into like we're gonna be famous and now i'm kind of like i think you like like the anonymity i i like say that word anonymity nope anim anonymity nope Anim, anim, animinity. What is it? Animosity. Anum. Anum entity. Anonymous. Anonymity. 
I do like anonymous though. That is you the like fact. An, I, I love, love that anonymous. Craigslist. I love that. Yeah. I got, I felt something really big this past weekend at AWOL. It was a little anonymous. A little anonymous cock play. Well, it wasn't well, quite anonymous. Well, I, and yeah. AWOL is that way. Like, um, yeah, and I can, also it, had the same. Yeah, we'll get into that. It's a little, um, bit, it's a little dark. It's a little bit. Who? Who's once it's that? dark, it doesn't matter. You're who's like, is that? Oh, oh. Do you like that? It seems like feels like you do. I was it's so. I, I, uh, is I, that what is that sticky? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a lot to talk about when it comes to I sticky. I can tell. I was like, you little sticky ecky. Um, make sure you give us a call. 614-721-5336. That's 621. That's 614-721-5336. <laughs> oh, this weed is really hitting me hard. You're getting hit. You're getting steamrolled. I'm hitting it hard. Make sure you call us. Yeah. We have a... Okay. Also, I'm canceling motherboard already. Um <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's I really the thing. I like the idea of her, but I but hate she's annoying. You hate her. editing her. Like I want her to be able to sit here with us and be the able whole to be, like, chime in and be like, uh, you're an idiot, like a fact checker or something. I would love Give that. it six months. I'm I sure said they'll that. have that. I yeah. said, You'll be able to put a laptop here. I said that. AI, I said that. AI is just not there yet. It's not there yet, but it will no, be. No, it's not. But, She'll be back. But actually, one of the news stories today that I read was that the I, CEOs of multiple of the AI groups are like, hey, you guys need to be careful. It, it could be as bad as nuclear war. Did you see that? It could be as bad as pandemics. I'm just going to go ahead and we might as well just go and right. Honestly, we can imagine how it would be. We might as well just go if right. If AI is controlling our power grid, if AI is controlling how our airplanes fly, it could be bad if they, it right. were just like, you know what? Fuck these humans. Watch this. I'm this watching. is an app, an AI app that takes your, your article and makes a podcast out of it. And this it goes from six minute read to a three minute convo. But that exact topic. Is a recast of the 1100 word piece, Artificial Intelligence Could Lead to Extinction. Experts warn from BBC News. This article discusses the potential risks of artificial intelligence leading talking. to human extinction and steps being taken to mitigate these risks. Let's listen in. The article is titled, Artificial Intelligence Could Lead to Extinction, Experts Warn. This is an important topic to discuss. Yes, it is. Recently, dozens of experts have supported a statement this released is AI by voices the talking like their AI podcast. safety this that is warns freaking of the potential out. I thought it was real. AI leading to extinction. Those experts include the heads of OpenAI and Google DeepMind. Yeah. The statement reads, wow. mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should off, be though. a global priority yeah. alongside so other societal risks. Such as I think they're right. Nuclear war. <laughs> While some are concerned about the potential risks. Like, even the AI voices are now like having inflections in their voice yeah, and like being like, well. this is really bad. This is bad. I'm glad you brought that up, though, because I just did the take practicing. So I was like, this is a cool Everyone's tool. Everyone's like, this is cool. It's like, no, guys. Well, you know like, how it's uh, not many steps away from being very bad. It's already there. And honestly, I can train our voices in there, and then we can be the speakers of those two guys. And I could put that article in, and then it'll make the dialogue for us in our voices. Wait, so we can podcast without podcasting? Yes. We already can do that. I Let's need to get, go travel. I need to, Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going traveling. We're just going to put it on play. Motherboard can do it. <laughs> oh, that bitch. She can't do shit. Um, so anyway, we got a voicemail. Hey, not well. This is Brian. I just wanted to say thanks for everything you do. Uh, I have a question. I guess I've been, I broke up with my boyfriend for eight years and it's getting tough at night feeling alone and wanting to, you know, have somebody and I've tried to get on the apps and it's just not working. But like, what do I do? I feel like I need to be doing something or... I need to, you know, pass my time with someone. Help. Wow. Okay, so you're very, I'm going to really be honest with you. <laughs> For me, this was screaming desperation. Yes. This is screaming, I don't know who the fuck I am. Yes. You're bored at night, so you want to have a partner. Yep. Not. Nope. That's, that's not, not a reason works. to have a partner. Not a good reason. This is why your eight-year relationship fucking failed. I mean, I, I'm no, not trying to be rude. No, no. This is real, and this is something that... I'm working on in one of my relationships sure. where I'm we're trying to become independent together where you're together but you have your own personality, your own friendships, your own fun, your own hobbies, things you do and then you have ways that you connect together. So you have your own lives. It's almost like a sacred space to the together. Yeah, like right. okay, we have this we do together. It's yep. so fun. Yeah, but on but on the times where your partner's not there and you're on the couch at night. You're not bored and lonely and crying. And then being you're just upset. having fun. You're actually like, you know what? I'm going to read a book. I'm going to watch a show. I you're like. You're going to do what you want to do. Yeah. It's your hobby. If it's yes. touching dicks, if it's jerk off to jerking off, if it's watching a fucking Netflix show, whatever it is, you can do it. Mm -hmm. 
And that's the thing that people need to learn is that your partner is not your entertainment. No, hell no. Like it's not. Like stop using Most them for people like, aren't that entertaining anyways. And to be honest, I didn't know that would happen. Hmm. Well, this is magnetic and I'm just sucking down. And to be honest, <laughs> let me suck in those metals. To be honest, like <laughs> Oh no, he doesn't. I don't, <laughs> don't cuz I was like really going into it. <laughs> to be honest. No, but you don't, you shouldn't use your partner as your source of entertainment because that's what a lot of people do. And to be honest, that's America. Like that's like, "Oh, what am I, I'm alone. What am I going to do without No, it's like what do you mean? What are you gonna do? You should be able to do anything. That's like I go to dinners alone. If I want to go to a restaurant, I fucking go to the restaurant and sit alone. People, if I want to go to a, think if I want to so go, yeah, no, people think I'm like Matt thinks I'm crazy when I would I go to movies alone. I literally go to lunch all the time. Back alone, when so. I went to the theater, it would be yeah, like I, I would go just down. go see a movie alone because I didn't want to wait six weeks for it to come onto DVD or streaming, and then like no one would watch it with me anyways. Then so you just I said, may as well go to the theater. Yeah, alone. but people think I'm crazy. No, you're not. Alone. You're actually you sat very there, healthy. You sat there alone. I'm like, uh huh. And it's I'll a movie. Uh, I'm going to be quiet, <laughs> right? Like, it's true. We're not going to talk to someone I'm with. Oh, I you love. Rub your hand. I love that when they're like, yeah, we're going to go to a movie and da, da, da. it's like that's your date. You had no, but you, you had no conversation. Talk. No I think conversation. You just scoot over just slightly. Yeah, there we go. Um. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so don't get a partner. Sorry, for that caller. Reason. You need to. I need the caller to relax. I need the caller re-evaluate. to like build their life up without a partner, and then say like, "Okay, let's do this." Like, get you get it together, honey. Like, we don't need people to go make some friends for God's sakes. <laughs> I mean, that's start there, and that's a tall order for a lot of people. It is, but like that's the thing. You can't especially just, as you get older in life, it's like, how do you just? But what you do is you just join something you in your community. Do join it. a dart league. Join the kickball league. If you don't do sports or anything like that, go to a trivia night. Join like there's so many random things you could just meet people. Walk at. up to somebody and say, "Hey, I'm new in town." At the bar. Hey, I, I'm. You know, I just got really out of a easy. long-term relationship. Like, I don't have a lot of friends. What are you doing this weekend? You want to hang out again? And my, people might look at you like, "Okay." And some and people maybe will. It's you. Mm-hmm. Um, and I and you know sometimes we can't help we don't our personalities. Say that. So well, it's true, though. but it's true. We don't. We all can't control our personalities. So if you are having a hard time, maybe like making new friends or being alone i think it might be time to see a therapist right sorry that also helps like a how, lot how can you sort it work out, on maybe. you while you're waiting for another partner this voicemail is a hundred percent completely speaking to me that says i need help help me yeah. oh my god i need help All thinking the other that shit, a partner will fix it yeah like thinking looking the boyfriend is gonna going on the apps and shit it's like that's not what boyfriends are for they're to support you during your life mm-hmm. and like help you 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 help me help be the best version of you Thank you. Help uh, you be the best version of you. That's you grow, what you should do with period. a partner. Yeah. Okay. How do I help them become better by themselves? Amen. Together. Together. Okay. Um, I said That's questions like from voice, YouTube, man. but we have nobody on. We have one like, so that's we good. We have one like. Uh, the YouTube stream is going well. Yeah, it's going really well. I'm about to take it down. Do we have the crickets button or? Maybe you can shove it up my pussy and. Okay. Just don't fuck my dad. That's good too. Yeah, I need to update these. Yeah, I'm ready for an crickets. update. We need the crickets. We need again. crickets, and I think we need Trina back. Sorry, I do too. I'm not, I'm actually, not actually a fan. fan. I think it was always this part. <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually a fan. Yeah. So okay. Um, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? Because mine's long, and I feel like I've been talking a lot. I have a lot to say, and I don't know what your your middle points are. So I just like, kind of oh, stacked yeah, yeah. them all. So okay. if you want to say something or whatever, I don't care. Okay, so I have a little comment about something we talk about all the time, but partying too hard. (sighs) Sometimes you forget your age when you're with someone younger. So, for example, Friday night, I went out and had an adventure with someone special. And um, we went to dinner. We were having a great time. We split a bottle of wine, oh which boy. is fine. That's only two glasses. Okay. That's okay, not so a lot. Good. So we're good there. Then we just went back to his place so we could change into pants. That took over 45 minutes. Um, then we oh. went to... Yeah, ja- when you have that ass. We went to... Mm, we went to Jackie. I'm going to tear you a new asshole. <laughs> These buttons have got to go. <laughs> They're too long and they're too intrusive. Um, we went to Jackie's on Fourth, which I've got to tell you, we need to go to. It's oh, everybody's so in love with it. Nice. Everyone is in love with it. There's so much space. That's why it's because it's like 
two stories inside, two stories outside, plus a patio, plus fire pits. So you can go all over the place. Plus there's two bars outside, one on the second so it's kind store of like outside, pens. one on the in, except, but two stories. Yeah, like two stories, Holy. more bars, and everything connects. So it's like you open a tab and, you know, it's great. How the, what's the bathroom situation like? Now, the I didn't go. Oh, so we I didn't know. go there because they close at midnight. So last calls at 1130 they for some it. reason. I asked them. I was Good like, for them. I said, I know. I, I was like, this is fine, actually. It's we don't, actually we don't need You're you to brewery, stay open like, until 2 a.m. So we went there, had obviously a beer there. Then we were like, well, FOMO's across the street. I've never been there. Went to FOMO. Then my special someone knew the bartender there. So what did we have? Shots. Shots. Lots of shots. There's a regret. I had one because, and I didn't finish it because I didn't like it. Uh, <laughs> I've seen you pull that trick a little bit. Sometimes. I'm like, no, you really don't like shots that much. I hate shots. Okay, like it's time. I to feel like I got. I've. I'm at that age where if I chug something, I might throw it up. Well, and also it's just with all your me. situations. Yeah, like you know, I throw up. Right. So for me, chugging or like even doing that, it's a throw up motion. It's coming back up. So I can't do shots. I can get drunk. We know, we know that, honey. <laughs> Don't worry about me, but just give me more time. <laughs> and so then that happened. And then I think after that, there was uh, an interesting story, side story for you. We went to District West on this fine Friday night. What was it? It was a King show. Yeah. So we paid to get in. Okay. We turned the corner. Once again, you paid for something that you're not really expecting for. Like, cause yep. They don't show yeah, you what's going on. They don't tell you. Really tell no, they you. don't tell you. You walk in. They're like, a yeah, bunch they, of they lesbians, said, yeah. and you're like, they said, "There's a show going on. Turn the corner." <sighs> Basically, a twink is on stage, but it's supposed to be a king because they put cigar ashes on their face. Can we talk about that actually? Yeah, and then there's like 20 lesbians standing around the stage screaming, only 20, and quietly screaming. And then that was, and we stood there. My date and I stood there for about. Two minutes before we looked at each other, and I was so, like, "Nope, we're not getting a drink here, are we?" And he was like, "No." <laughs> so we left like you mean like after oh, we paid, we just paid ten dollars to get in, and we were like, "I was like, I, I donated, I donated to the cause, right. I supported the kings, but I don't need to watch that." Like, I don't how do you really feel about drag kings. I uh, <laughs> tell I, the truth. I are remember, we live? We're live. Okay. No, nobody's watching. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Nope. First of all, I don't understand the makeup part. <laughs> <laughs> like it looks like shit. Like no offense, but it's like it's what drag queens it's, do without blending. It's, it's like Halloween makeup. But it's like it's they, like always they're trying ha- to yes. chisel in lines, but like they look like a jack o' lantern. It's like please, I know what is going on. <laughs> Somebody has got to explain this. Someone to Someone has got to blend it so you look like a man. Why are we not blending it? There's never a blend. It's and always it's, a hard. I line know. Right it's like here. white and then like <laughs> yeah. brown, and you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Is that supposed to be your cheekbone or your fucking like? Are you? I don't. Uh, <laughs> So I need somebody to That's explain the, to me the makeup situation there. I don't mind the king part. No, we don't mind the like gender but, bending part. It's but the makeup. It's the look. It, it's like I look at them and I'm like, so you're a drag king? I can tell. It just looks like and a it's shit show. Not, it's like, yeah, it's like you don't look like a man. <laughs> I mean, meanwhile, we have like drag queens who look like full women. Yeah, I mean, it, it was like drag when, kings it, look. So if you can imagine. Like if lesbians. You, yeah, if you've never seen a drag king, picture Trixie Mattel when she first came out. And didn't know how to blend her makeup that well. That's a drag king, okay? And that was a read, but it's true. She used to pack these really know, sharp it was lines, like, and you're like, yeah, line, yeah. But it was that was the gag though, because she was also pretending <laughs> yes. to be a doll. Um, so, what's going on here? We need answers because I don't think you look. It doesn't look. It's not something we want to watch. I'm just gonna say. Like, also, like yeah. I know that's rude, but like, but do they sing like Melissa Etheridge or like what are they doing on the stage? Like are they even yeah. like pumping the crowd up or it's like no. It was, it was a very depressing song, and that's what my date even mentioned to me. He's like, this music is just sad. I'm like, yeah. yep, that's kind of the Drag King vibe is like. It is kind of depressing. It's like emo. And they always sprinkle them in in the drag shows. And they put a little in the. And now we're going to do the song where you can go to the bathroom, too. Um, I'll Ugh. bring out the drag king. Like, well, here's you your, guys need to get drink refills. We had a drag king for Chad you. Chad Davis. You're like, know, what? Like, Who? What is happening? Now, I do have to say that there are some drag kings that can actually do it well. There was one here. No, there's a really good one back here. in the day, though. I don't know if they're back yet or I don't. I think they moved away. It was like literally ten years ago. Jams Dean. 
Oh, James Dean. Yeah. No, I think they're still around. Because yes, that person that knows how to person. work a crowd. No, they're still around. They come out they're like, Dang. they play like all these songs, and they're like, oh, they, yeah, I know exactly. I have videos of him. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. He, he was good, very good. So, and if they just follow that model, I'm, I'd watch them all day. I'd watch a whole show just drag kings. But, but it's literally, it's them not always there that. Like, it's a lot of times very sad, like singing a stained acoustic yeah, cover, and it's like, oh, 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 Honda. It's like yeah, I'm it's sorry. Too, it's, it's like too. if it's like if you were to take Virginia like, West and I just put have her to say, as like king. real men don't do that. You know, like so right. if, if you're imitating a real man. And I'd kind of like to give that same advice to other queens that are at that establishment, especially with the yeah. name uh, uh-huh. last name. This isn't what women do. This whole like oh, hello. Nah. Also, when are we gonna just? Oh, yeah. no, right. When is she gonna retire? I know. Uh huh. Okay. Is you that know, right? When are you gonna move from grandmother to in grave. the grave? <laughs> yeah, grandmother like when to you just grave. Become manager or something like. Yeah. Like, like, like I think it might be time. Because I just don't um, feel the. You know what? I was actually looking forward to. I thought there might have been a, an an event, a moment. Right. Everything's an event the, there. Uh, at the land grant incident, um, mm. where someone could have become a martyr, perhaps, and then it would have ended. Right. Everything. And, and it would have been good ending for them. Right. Because they would have lived on in history. History. And we don't. I'm not wishing harm upon anyone, no. or I'm not invoking the Nazis to come back. I'm just saying. But honestly, I, I felt in my heart I'm ready I was for like, them. I was like, this could be the moment. Because you true. know, she stood up and was like, ah, I mean, wait till ah. wait till fucking Pride. We're gonna get like something. Ha- so, I'm so, I don't ner- I'm go. so nervous. I I'm nervous. I really don't want to go. You're going, but I know I don't want to go. You're, I'm dragging you there, honey. <sighs> you got to get that drone out. You got to get some good video, like content. Especially if you get good content of a massive, you know what? Wiener. Um, oh. <laughs> could, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if, and if, if you had a video if of. If and when, if, then maybe. If you had a video of that event and you sold it to the major news outlets, you could really I'd become. make it. So, yeah. So Okay, well, I'll be there. You're going to Pride. Uh, I'll just stand from the side, though. I'll be Daddy's like, orders. I'll be a side on the side. Speaking of sides, why am I still feeling teeth? I actually really don't get You that call that yourself much. a side, but I'm still feeling teeth. They're saying you're bad at blowjobs, right, but you're, you're calling yourself dick, a side. Right, but a side can suck, I thought. No, sides do suck, but it's like, why aren't you good at sucking uh, if you're calling yourself a side? That's why I'm screaming. I, go, I was laughing. I was like, you it's call about yourself a side. biting dicks, but yeah. I'm like. Because it's like. I get it. You're, that's supposed to be like your, you're your like, specialty. Oh, I'm a pro. Oh, yeah, I'm like a, a side. Like when you're a bottom, you're so, like, I can fuck yeah, you really exactly. great. It's like, I'm a side. And they're like, well, I still, you can't. You're not good at sucking. That's not a lie. I'm not good at sucking, and I'm, yeah. I get dry mouth, so yeah. like halfway through, it's a little bit like. I just get kind of tired, and I also like I. Yeah. You need to start like writing down my thoughts as I'm blowing people because I think it's real people. Like I blow people all the time. It's like how many? Like zero people. Like Michael. Yeah. Um, but like sometimes I'm like thinking about. Some, I'm like wondering what am I really thinking about? I'm wondering if they're really enjoying it, like, and I'm looking is up. The ribs like, are the ribs in the kitchen? Are we about to cook that? Are they liking this? I I, I can't tell. I can't do eye contact. Sorry. They're moaning, but it, like I is it a good it. moan or bad moan or am I am I still too dry? Let me try to. Spe- no, nope, nothing came out. My mouth's still dry. You're like, uh, it's just. I mean, you can tell though when they're starting to like really. You're like, okay, we're we're getting somewhere here. Yeah, it's starting to throb a little. It's starting to drip a little. That bit. doesn't happen to me often, so I'm not really. But for me, I can't even come with a blowjob unless you're like. I cannot come with a blowjob unless it's, it's not happening. Freak nasty, and it's yeah. Well, like that's, at a bar. That's or, what I'm saying. There have been the f- couple times I have. It's because something absolutely incredible is happening. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And that's the anonymity. It's, I think that was right. I think it was. Good job. Thank you. And it's like the excitement. There's something. We lost our lives. <laughs> what did we lose? Our live listener. I know we had one. We had one. I think it was my scream. I really felt it. I was like, ah! <laughs> you sounded like a chicken. Well, it also could have been the, the Nazis. Um, so, and then the other fun thing I did this uh, <laughs> weekend, and I don't care if they hear this, but I went to my grandparents' 65th wedding anniversary. Wow. Party. Talk about yeah, dedication. Was, yeah, 65 years. Like, like, you imagine? I don't even know if we're going to make it to 65. Like, I have eight, yeah, age. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, but especially getting married and being that, married that long. So they were married at like, what, 18? Probably like 20, yeah, about that. Yeah, like young. young so bucks. I went there, and this is my dad's side of the family, and they're like the weird side, like the awkward. Like, weird, like awkward. Like two of my uncles I never see. They were there. I didn't even know, I didn't even recognize like their kids at all. I don't know their kids' names. So I'm like, really? they're my cousins, and I'm like, Jennifer? She's like, you're the faggot, aren't you? He's like, 
no, nope, not Jennifer. That's Abby or something. I'm like, oh, right. And this, who is this guy with the eyes too close together? Oh, oh it's your husband. Okay, I was just checking. Cute. Really cute. And then who are these bratty kids making a lot of noise during the speeches? Shiloh, your Wilson, kids. Wilson, and yeah. it's like. It's literally, I'm like, I have no fucking clue who these people are. And some of them like came in from out of town and I'm like, Hi. No, I can't. But then the funny part is like my cousins who I don't talk to often but see like once a year on like family vacations in Marco Island or wherever. Yeah. And they follow my story so I can see they've always seen what I post and like sometimes they like random things. They were there too. So that's fun to see those cousins. Right, right. Because I'm like, yeah, I'm the wild one in the family. My sister and I, we are the wild ones in that family. We're fucked up. Yeah. Actually, my whole table, my family is the fun family. You know it. Well, right. Like, we were the ones who were drinking Prosecco we're from Costco. We were loud. We we're making jokes. I gave my dad, the, he didn't have a speech. He had to go up and talk to. And then he said, Here's to another 65 years. And thanks to Jim for that. Like, why are we saying there's going to be 65 more years, though? And then like we a joke. And then have you seen that SpongeBob episode where it's like um, just a spinal cord in a wheelchair? Like, what? I hate chocolate. Oh. That's what we said our grandparents would look like. <laughs> Fuck. My I mean, mom. Why don't cook- you age better? Like why? I mean, that's the thing. Like, it really you just gross. get worse and worse. They're so small now. You get hot and hot and hot, and then all and of a sudden it just drops off a cliff, and you're no, like, "Oh, I know." Whoa. You're like, "Daddy, daddy, grandpa, grandpa, dead, dead." No, they are so short. Like the pictures, like they lose their butts. They lose their. Oh, spirit. you lose everything. You can't even walk. I mean, honey, it's coming for you. You're already 40. It's kind of sad because I actually already feel the pain of life. I think you're peaking. I need to, like, lose some weight, to be honest. I don't want to have the nasty, like, skin. I'm not saying that's nasty for those that have that. We're getting close to the point where gray is more prevalent than black, and then you're just... Yeah. I'm really extremely good looking, though. I mean, I will say that. Yeah, this is true. Thank you. I mean, I can't help it. It's true. It is true. I mean, you've been to camp. I've had so many fucking comments on my fucking hair this past weekend that... Like, hello. Hi. Go into your trip. Okay. I need to hear. Okay. So. Rather fucking drop. I went on a very, very, very quick trip to Atlanta. (laughs) It's really, really tough going home. And I don't think anybody understands that at all. But especially for queer people. But I. Like. Well, yeah, that and the fact that I have so many friends, I can't see them all. This that, fucking bitch. That's what I was really getting it's at. It's really hard to go home because I can't see everyone. It's You're really just, hard for me. So this episode is an apology to your friends. Great. Oh, that was. When you could have I'm just. tear you a new what asshole. Could, what could you have done? You could have planned an event at a local bar, rented out a table at a place, and well, said, and invite get, all 12 people. And I'll get into that because okay. there was going to be a moment where I was going to have a vehicle. However, when I got to the goddamn. Air, so as you know, my travel luck. <laughs> Yeah, you have the worst. Every time I travel with you, it's a delay. There was a delay. It's a disaster. There was a delay. Okay. Oh, of course. But, okay. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. Whenever it was the day before. Okay. And Michael goes, I need to say something to you. And I go, oh, fuck. He's like, well, I got our seats upgraded. Okay. I said, okay, great. Thank God. But they're not together. What? And we're both in middle seats. How is that an upgrade? That's not an upgrade. It's, oh my God, no. So I was like, Oh, I just had a panic a, attack. Right. You've seen me on a plane. So I'm like, Oh. Oh my God. No, I do not do middle. I would rather sit by the window in the back row. I will Especially not. Especially when you're not, when you're not, not with somebody you know. No, I can't do middle. You can't do like the lean. No, like, you can't. Oh yeah. my God. Oh my God. Oh yeah. My. So I was like, How what is that an upgrade? In the fuck. So I'm watching and he's like, Well, you're on the, we're, we're on the list for another upgrade and there's only like one person in front of you. And I go, Huh. So I get to the airport and I see that there's still a spot open. Oh, okay. In first class. Oh, thank God. So I go see the gay uh, attendant and I said, I mean, hi. Look at me. I'm, I was like, hi. I'm a POS. I'm a person of size. He's like, God damn, we got to get him in the front. Yeah. I was like, I, I was just seeing if um, you've done the upgrades yet because I'm on the list and I just was wondering. And he goes, I'll get you. I was like, okay. Thank God. But I didn't hear my name called when they were calling people up like, Robert, your seat assignment. So I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, I guess I'm going to the seat that's. And eventually Delta actually moved our seats together. Like it was like a glitch in the system. Like they had to move us to move people. Okay. I don't know. So you both got upgraded to first. No. Oh. Just me. Oh, you little bitch. I love it. So I get to the gate and Hi. she's scanning and then they scan and they go, he goes, Doo-doo. and I was like, oh. like, oh, your new seat's 2B. <laughs> yes. And I was like, yes. You honestly earned it because you have had so many bad luck travel stories. So. So, so we get on the plane. Everything's great. Well, I'm going to say something about the fucking people around me. First of all, oh, Michael was more mad, though, at the fact that the hottest guy on the plane was my seatmate. Hot, of like course. beefy, blonde. Yep. He was actually hot to me, too. 
I don't understand this, and maybe correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm the one in the wrong here. I understand the sun is setting in the west, okay? But I need some windows open when we're flying. Literally, the entire first class, all the windows were down. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't even know if we're, where are we right? I hate not knowing. I don't like not seeing what's happening because I feel like I'm blind. I feel dizzy. I feel like I, don't, oh, I need to be able to that's see weird. out. I couldn't stand it. I, I will like, tell you, I know you're new to first class, but they do not keep the windows up in first class. I, when I when I flew to well, that, Italy first class and came back from Italy first class, no, none of them were open. The whole cabin was dark, and it was daytime on the way back. The whole flight back was daytime. No see, one had. It I up. think it's bullshit. <laughs> I want to see the coast. I think people want to pretend that they're not even in the air. Literally, they're I think, really trying hard. I but think to the me, first class people are like, mm, I mean, I get it, but like also, I just can't, traveling. You're going 600 miles a fucking hour. I know. It's nice. And I, you can kind I, of feel it. I like, opened mine because yeah, I was you like, have to, I, and I looked around. I'm like, oh, does they want it dark? I'm like, is it a rule? They're like, no, it's not a rule. I just like seeing. I like to what's see the clouds. Happening. Yeah, yeah, I want to see like, oh, okay, cool. We're moving. And we're then going especially when we're going down, I'm like, I want to see the land and like. The water. Right, because I had no idea we were like, landing. I was like, that's the Atlantic. And like, everybody's sitting there, and I'm where I'm like, right. all of a sudden it's bam on the yeah, morning. I'm like, I, I had no I fucking idea. I hate that. Yeah, so I, I was ha- pissed. I was like, well, not really pissed, but I was like, this is You should have reached across that big beef body. I was like, oh, open the window. He was an asshole, of course. Like, I, of course, all, The hot ones always are. I'm super kind. I'm like, hi. And I sat down and go, oh, hey. And he goes, uh, oh, okay. Well, wow. So I'm we're not going to be sharing drinks. Yeah, no, we're not sharing coffee. Fucking bitch. So we get to the airport. We go to the. Um, I know. I could have gotten a blanket. You're like, I need a blanket. Uh, ma'am. Spread it across both. <laughs> okay. He's really small, so we just need one. We, we're just tiny. <laughs> um, so we get to the airport. We go to the rental car center. Okay. Now, here's another mistake I made. So you know how Michael is a little bit frugal, and I am blaming him on this. Well, yeah, you had middle seats, right. both of you. So like, frugal well, is an understatement. So then I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Priceline and do like a rental car deal because like it's kind of a shit show. Oh, I've heard of this. I think you told me about this. So I got thrifty. Okay, thrifty. Now I don't know if anybody's. It's in the name. It's in it's the name. In yeah. the goddamn name. Yep, it's in the name. So we get there. There's not a lot of lines everywhere. We get to Thrifty. There's 60 people in line. <laughs> there's 60 people standing around. <gasps> there's a guy literally yelling, "Jones, Rick Jones." No. Priscilla. They don't have fucking cars. They don't have fucking cars. So they're waiting for people to bring them back in and drop them off. And they're, they're no. bringing them in and they're coming out and being like, uh, char. And th- these people are, you can tell they've been getting comfortable on the floor. So I go, uh, hold on. So I go up to this guy and of course he was a sassy little cunt. And he's like, I was like, did you just say it could be anywhere from four? It could be up to four hours. And he's like, yeah, anywhere from two to four hours, but we're trying to get them as fast as we can. As soon as we get them, we're turning no, them. Cancel. No, cancel. Nope. Done. I said, fuck it. I walked out of the line immediately. And oh, Michael's never. like, what? I'm like, nope, not doing it. We're not waiting two to four hours for a fucking car. I'll get an Uber. <sighs> right. So then we're right. like, let's get an Uber. Oh, but I wouldn't. Yeah. But so, if I were there three days with my family. Family? Yeah. That's what I call it now. So I get a um, Uber. Oh, here's the hot guy. I was taking pictures of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was like a baseball player. That's a yes. That's a yes. So we get in the car. And I don't know if this is the video. Maybe this is the one. I know your Uber rating, so they I know. Need, cause a friend don't know the truth. And then afterwards, yeah, and then afterwards, the girl made Ishmael stop talking to the friend after she told him that. And Wait so till the end. Ishmael stopped talking to the girl. This is us getting in the Uber, and this is the first thing that happens. Females, you know, when, when they want to keep a good man, they'll use that. In a greater life, turn left on. Hold on, Mimi. It's my baby daddy. They're talking about how men trap everybody. On it the show. really does make you want to vote for Trump. Like, it really does. And then we get on the highway in Atlanta. <laughs> it's and like, I'm maybe like, we should get away from this type of culture. <laughs> Trapping a man by pretending you're pregnant. Do you hear the music? First of all, this is downtown Atlanta. Oh, I need a Xanax. Like middle this is, of the goddamn. That's horrifying. I go. It took us an hour to get to my mom's house. I'm starving, by the way. 
haven't had anything to eat because my mom was getting us public subs. And I hope you had a free drink in first class like I was. Yes. Okay, good. No, but, two. Okay, so, but then I'm like, okay, the girl An hour. literally went from, we got in the car, to, oh, and she couldn't open her trunk either. I'm like, oh, your fucking dead husband's in there or whatever. So we're riding along and she hangs with the phone, the baby daddy calls, and so the, the call changes and we go up to level 10 on the volume, like all the way up, bitch. And listening to this kind of stuff. And I'm like, no, listen, I can't even hear myself think. Yeah. Why are we playing this a lot? Then it was Pandora not paid for. So it was then a commercial. Oh my louder God. than hell. And she's not turning it down. I'm like, what in the Why fuck? Why are we listening to commercial at Why top volume? Top volume. I'm talking like, you want another? I'm like, oh, oh. This is horrifying. Horrifying. Michael should have walked over to Hertz, get rented a fucking well, I car. Tried to, well, so we tried to do that, but they were out of cars everywhere. everywhere. But they had already planned themselves. Like yeah. they weren't thrifty. They were like, "Oh, we have ten cars, and we're going to rent it to ten people." Yeah. Thrifty is like, we, like yeah, well, we'll we should have, have a car. We should have. People are people travel all day. People are driving here on a Friday to yeah, drive with their car. Right. No, this no, is the beginning not. of the weekend, bitch. I couldn't. Mm -mm. No wonder it was a deal. <laughs> Right. So don't ever go to Thrifty. No offense. And they're connected to Dollar. And I'm like, they're the same thing. The, I know. It's like all just trash. It's trash. The Yeah, I would never. But that is awful. So, OK. So that was that. Whatever. So you finally got to your mom's so house. Did you have a pub sub? I had a pub sub and it was literally I'm the so fucking, jealous because I've been heaven. craving a pub sub. I literally was like, I'm craving why one. Why the fuck but is this so good? Oh it is God. so good. Somebody open a Publix just sub place yeah, here. Just, oh, my God. I don't would, even need the goddamn grocery store. Out. But they didn't have the egg salad. Oh, um, so yeah, so the rental, the rental car was a real fun time. Then she went like 95 up the fucking highway, and I'm like, oh my god, we're just gonna die. Like it's fine. Um, so yeah, so then Saturday I went and saw my nephews and my sister, and my dad, and okay. mom. Fun. We had a whole day. La la la. We went and had adult dinner with my sister, and my cousin on Friday night. I got drunk, and then family trauma came out. But blah blah blah. blah worked on that. So then. It's time. Oh. So since I don't have a car, oh God. I'm prisoner of a car. My mom's leaving for Myrtle Beach in the morning, so I don't have a car for real. What day? On Sunday morning. So she I was, was like, leaving Sunday morning? Yeah. To That's go to Myrtle weird. Beach for the week. So I was like, she she delayed it, actually. She was supposed to go earlier, but I was like, I'm coming in town. Okay. Hmm. So we, don't, we really don't have a car. So my friend Ashley comes and pick us up, picks us up, and we go to Midtown, which is usually what we do because we want to be at her house before the air. Oh, my God. I'm speaking no English. That's like a no English. Uh, we want to be close to the airport. So like okay. she's only 10 minutes from the airport, whereas oh, my yeah, mom's yeah. 45. So I'm oh, like, I no. want to be like right there so we can just hang out for as long, whatever. So we go down there. We go to this place called Henry's. And I swear to fucking Christ, I have never in my life had the worst service I've ever fucking had in my life. Like I'm talking the server was like so aloof. So like, yeah, like, like one of those people that's like, oh, and I'm like, OK. And I told him what I wanted. I was like Jekyll Island IPA. That's not that hard. No. Three times. And you wanted the Jekyll. I'm like, yes. So we, we take our fucking sweet ass times. 25 minutes later, I'm not even fucking kidding. Our beers come For out. For a drink. Yeah, beers. That Beers. And a bucket of seltzer. Yeah. 25 like, minutes. Like, so I'm like, oh You could God. be the busiest you've ever been. I've been to busy bars here. Busy, busy bars. It's really stupid. It doesn't take 25 minutes to get a drink. So then I'm like, okay, when he comes, like, so he's putting it down. I go, we need to order. Yeah, like we need order now before you leave. He goes, oh, okay. He was like kind of offended. I was like, I'm like, we're not sitting here. Like, no, oh, we're gonna sit here and chat. Not. But like, I need this to keep moving. Especially if you have a drink. Like, you need to eat quickly. Might after as well put drink. another drink in too yeah. while you're at it. Ooh. So then, he pulls out his little notepad, pulls it out. It's disheveled to hell. You can tell there's like little writ writing on it. He smells his fucking notepad. No clue why. We all looked at each other like. He goes, <sighs> liquor. Then he proceeds to go. We go through the whole thing. Then they're bringing out fucking food, and they're like liquor. So the yeah, like liquor drink spilled on it, maybe or something. I'm like, but, but why, why would you, you smell pull it out it? and smell it in front of your people? Like, why? That's not good serve. That's like gross. Now you're not even funny either. Like if you were funny, it'd be funny. I just yeah. So then our food comes out. What happens? Oh no. well, here we go. Sarah gets her burger, but no fries. <laughs> oh, we're still cooking the fries. Oh, okay. Michael gets just fries, but no burger. They're still finishing the burger, but they still brought the shit out. I'm like, this is the if it's not finished, then don't bring it. Right, but also I want fries with my burger, and it's also been 45 fucking minutes since yeah. we ordered. So fries like, and a burger oh. do not take that long. Right, burger and two, it wasn't even busy. Two three minutes aside, depending on how thick. It made me really worried about what we were fries. eating. To be honest, I was like, oh no, ready? Like, oh no, yeah, it means it's been sitting out in the back, and it's like. <sighs> 
So we finally get our food. We eat. I'm like, we got to get the fuck out of here. Like, I got to go. Like, I can't. And in the and south, this is they Sunday, like, like what? This is Sunday at like five or four, three o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. When were you coming back? Monday. Monday morning. Oh, okay, okay. We're like Monday at eleven thirty. So we had to okay, the so you still have so, time in the evening yeah. to have some. To well, kind of. Then I had to go get. Yeah. Okay. So, so then we're like, okay. So Sarah leaves and her husband leave, and then it's me, Ashley, and Michael. So we're like, let's go like to a bar. Oh yeah. So we decided to go to the Eagle. Okay. So it's like five thirty. We get there. There's literally like four people there. We're like, oh god. On Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, it was bizarre. But there's also the largest jazz fest in the country that's free. It's a, one of the largest free concerts in the oh, country. Okay. So fair. It was just a fucking shit show down there, just to say the least. Yeah, this is not a weekend to visit for me. Okay. So we have, so you know JVN, right? Oh, yeah. So this JVN looking motherfucker walks in, sassy as hell, has two huge diamond ring fingers that are fake, that are like LED, and they're like blinking. No. He's like, this keeps them away, blah, blah. He comes up, so he looks at me, and I I look up, and I see him, I'm like, okay. You're like, yikes. And I'm like, okay, well, here we go. And yeah, I look yeah. up again, and he goes, he had a really pretty smile, but it was like a really kind of like a creepy smile. It was like... I was like, oh. was he blacked out? I was like, oh well, yeah, I think they were high, because he was looking for his fucking wallet for like an hour in his purse, and I'm like, oh no. So he comes strolling over and he goes, pats Michael on the knee and goes, I'm really sorry if this is your husband or whatever. <laughs> and he looks straight at me in the eyes and he goes, there is absolutely nothing wrong with you. You are fucking gorgeous. And I was like, you must have your goggles on, but yeah. thank you. The you bitch did. sits down on my leg. It's Damien, by the way, from Michigan, but now lives in Louisville, um, but was visiting Atlanta for a divorce party, um, for a gay <laughs> divorce party. So cool, whatever. I'm like being hit on a lot. Well, then another friend comes over, David. Friend of Damien? Mm -hmm. Okay. And David's a ginger. Oh, here you David's go. David's a hot ginger. Oh, no. David was oh, flirting no. with me doing this kind of thing. And like he grabbed. <sighs> oh, he grabbed your tit? Well, actually, he grabbed your tail. No, he didn't. You know, oh, yeah, actually, he did. He grabbed my nipples. But then Damien goes, You got big puffies. You have great tits. I was like, <laughs> Oh, no. Is this a compliment? Damien. Thanks, Damien. First, you told me I thought I was, my, I thought myself was ugly. Yeah, like I thought, like you told me I was perfect, but then, and then don't worry, now you're you gorgeous. Like, you're like, I, he's like, I wasn't I wouldn't, worried, he was but like, now I, I am. Motorboat the fuck out of the. I'm like, oh, oh, oh god. god. Okay, like, but okay. David's still having fun with but these puppy David titties. David is different than Damien. Yeah, David. David's right up my alley. So Dave, but David was getting drunk. Okay. David was drinking bourbon. Um, oh so no. So he was getting worse and worse, and he was like going oh, to talking to all these people. People who drink liquor like run away. But he was like, "Do you want to go get a drink with me?" I was, he's like, what do you guys yeah, want? I said it to Michael and Ashley. And I, and I go, yeah. And I was like, are you guys coming? And Michael's like, nope. And I was like, oh, no. So then I got like tingling in my pussy. And then he did this. He kept just touching me in random spots. And I was like, oh, my God, my pussy is like tingling. I love when it gets wet. It was so hot. I was like, I have a like blood flow. Yeah, like It's just hot like, in public. You're like, you're the hot guy. Oh, no, of course. So David frequently visited me throughout the night. But he was really getting drunk. La, 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 la. Oh, well. So I finally was like, whatever. Fuck you. Whiskey dick. So then I have another guy. I don't something. I don't remember his name. Jason or something like that. Um, he shows up. He's this hot boy. I can show you a picture. We're friends on Facebook. I want to see on Instagram. Um, he's cute. He's very cute. Um, he's he's he went to Auburn. Oh yeah, it's over. Like okay. he's cute. Yeah, I'm ready. But I'm like, fuck me. He's just standing there, and I'm like, what is going on? Like, are you, like, what's going on here? Um, he was just there by himself. So I oh, okay. I, I grab Michael. So and he's a like, little shy. So I was like, Mike, come over here. Um, let's go talk to this guy. Like, what the fuck? We saw you from across the bar. So we I like go, your vibe. I go, oh, hey. I go, um, you know, are you here with somebody? Or like, what are you, what's going on? He's like, no, I just came up here, blah, 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 blah. Super cute. A little bit shy. Was he shy? Was he nervous? Shy, a little bit. Um, well, I'll say a lot because his name was Matt, actually. It's, there it is. Um, oh, oh, I think he's pretty hot, personally. Yeah, like, he's got yep. like this look. Like, a, oh, it's a good look. Yeah. So I'll read my so. text from Matt because uh, I was also into getting numbers that night. So we were leaving, good. and Matt was staying there. I was like, "Well, we gotta go because we've been here for like six hours." By the way, it's midnight at this point. We got there at five thirty. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, it's one of those nights. Full black. Lots of tingling. Full, lots of full black. Yeah. When you know when you go to the bar sometimes and you're having that fun time, and you're like, <sighs> and all of a sudden it's like six hours later. You're, you're like. like that happened to me at Slammers. It's happened to me at Slammers. It happens Many, all the fucking anytime time. Anytime I order pizza at Slammers, it's like, I've been there you too know. long. Yeah, you I'm know like, I need food. So I get his number. We're texting. Oh, my God. He goes. Let's 
I sent my dick pictures to. You did not. Um, hey there. Hey there. Got kind of hard when you touched my leg, girl. Wait, maybe I'm. Oh, he sent a girl. Oh, I didn't realize I said this. <laughs> I was hard talking to you. <laughs> Did you go to another bar or home? I said, we're at Felix, but we're leaving. Why are you so hot? I want to make out. I don't you said want- that? You oh. never want to make out. You were blacked out. You never. He goes, ha ha, I kind of want to suck you. I said, you could. I'm thick. I don't even know what that means. Ah! And he goes, fuck, I want your cum. Was hoping you were single and live in Atlanta, but I totally respect that you're not, and you don't. I go, LOL, you could suck two at once. He goes, Yeah. How long have you since you shot your load? LOL, sorry, I'm naughty. I go, you're not. I would love to fuck around. He goes, yeah, me too. So then I set my my penis in my. I want to see him, obviously. Oh yeah. He was in the What's shower the one before that that he sent his ass in the shower. Oh, we want dick. That's what I kind of said. So I'm like, okay, you're bottom. So you are kind of thick though in that picture. <sighs> I want you exactly my type. You up? Oh no! So what now time we're at that is point. That? This is at what time? T- one o'clock. No, it's and too I late. said at one forty-five, one twenty-nine. A yes, a yes. Okay, literally. So B, was, we don't know. A, I was dead. B, I don't have a car. And then I get a text next morning. I fell asleep. When are you leaving? I said, "Oh, I was saying leaving this morning," which wasn't really that true. But I didn't want to like. I didn't want to. I know you don't want. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to deal with. So you on Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said you're so hot. Blah 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 blah. blah. He said, "What are you into?" I go as far as. Oh, you're, you're being coy. all of a sudden. You're being coy. I said, "I'm aside." Oh, I really wish I would have gotten to suck you. Come really turns me on. Would have loved swallowing for you. Oh, wow. Okay. That's kind of fun. I like that. So sexy. You could really caught my eye last night. Oh, um, he's cute. I know. Mm. So anyway, what does he say he's doing? He's studying to be Roofing? a cooling. I'm in a cooling boot camp to become a soft. Oh, coding. Coding. Anyway, so basically, long story short, my time in Atlanta was very, um, I realized that. Unfulfilled. Fulfilled, though. Oh, okay. I felt like my oh, trip wow. as a whole, like I was hot. I was touching dicks. I did touch David's dick. Um, did, was he drunk, though? But I did get his number and I followed him, too. Um, but, okay. so yeah. Um, did show me David. And, well, David's husband, not hot. No, David's husband's hot. No, David's hot. No, David's hot. Are you fucking kidding? I don't do ugly. Well. Well. I'm <laughs> not always. This is David, honey. Oh, like, yeah. He's cute. Like, he's got that. Okay. Like, wait, hold on. Which one's David? Oh, well, that's not David. That's his hot husband. Yeah, his hot husband. I was trying to get them both, to be honest. Which one's the David? I'm trying to find, like, a good picture of him, like, one that's, like, him. But he oh, well, he, oh, no. He puts this. It's that one right there. He's on the right or left? On the right. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's cute. He's a cute ginger. He's got good teeth. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, He's just like. I've really. He's cute. Oh, he's cute. I got the I'm look. surprised. Yeah. You're surprised because he liked me? Well. No offense, but I I'm just a fucking know, star. Sometimes there's. Sometimes, I will say, sometimes you let the ginger aspect overpower some of the other more troubling aspects. That is true. Um, I would say. You'll that. be like. Mm. He's, he's a ginger, hot, but like he's got a, a bum, like, bum knee. Like, uh. um, so, yeah. So that really was my. Um, but I did want to talk about something with you because you mentioned it. Yeah. And this is going to be our group topic. Then we go sundries. But I want to talk about hangovers for a second because who's mowing their lawn while we're fucking recording? Yeah, this hey, is inappropriate. This is our 200th episode. Like, how fucking dare you? It sounds like they're listening. Was so, it Michael edging? No, no, he's done. Oh, okay. We have an electric. It doesn't even make that noise. Right. Oh, it's Mary. It's fucking Mary's neighbor kid that comes over. Anyway, um, hangovers. I saw that you wrote that. You sent that to me this morning, and I was like, I feel like we need to tackle this just for a second. Um, so you were hung over this weekend. Saturday. When I, you were at the event. I, no, even bef- no, bef- I didn't leave my bed until I showered to go to the event, which was at 6 p.m. Oh, no. I stayed in bed, but I had fun. Like, I wasn't. I was a little hungover. I wasn't like miserable sleeping. Okay. I couldn't. I didn't sleep at all during the day. I was watching a show. Right, you're kind of like playing just, Zelda. Yeah, trying. To I was stay, eating. Yeah. I ordered Uber. You know, like I just lived my life. I loved it, but I did feel a little like this is inappropriate. I shouldn't have done this, and I didn't want to go to the event, the six, the sixty fifth anniversary. I mean, I was, who would? I was too tired. I was like, I'm hungover. But it it's overall hangovers suck. So, do you have a moment when you're drinking when you go? Yeah. Oh no. 
It's whenever I have a it's shot. Happened. Yep. If I've had a shot and I'm already drunk, I know it's going to be a hangover the next day. That's the feeling. When I had that shot at FOMO, even half, I was like, I'm going to be hungover because I'm already drunk and now I'm drinking straight liquor. And you're putting on top of that? And liquor like, on well, top. Like I didn't sober up from that beer at Jackie O's. I just went right into a shot. Right into it. Hungover. That's what I knew. It's, I was like, oh, I'm going to be hungover tomorrow. And you have that moment in your head. You're like, like God damn it. But you're trying to act like it's, you're like, everything's it's great. Fine. It's fine. Like so I'm just going to ride out the night. I'm going to have fun. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But in your head, you know, you're not fine. Like, how are you on Monday yesterday? <laughs> I threw up in the morning, um, but only reason was it's a really funny reason. Though. And then you had to travel. I know. Okay. Just so we were, I was laying there, and Ashley came out of her room, and we were all talking. And for some reason, I started going, "Oh my fucking pussy!" <laughs> so she started making this noise. She was going, "Oof oof 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 oof,", oof. and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah." So we were all making these noises at eight a.m. in her fucking condo. Yeah, I would throw up, screaming, crying, laughing. Like I couldn't even breathe. And all of a sudden, I went. <clears throat> Like, I kind of choked. Yeah. And then I go, just like in normal fashion, I usually do. I'm like, well, and I'm going to throw up. So I went and threw up. It felt better. You do feel better after it a did. throw I up. I needed to a get A good old up. throw up. It was the frozen pizza from the night before, but. The 2 a.m. frozen pizza. It was actually midnight when we got home, but. Oh, wow. Again, we've been Well, you were still texting like your boy toy at 1 a.m. Yeah. 1.45 a.m. I had to wait. A for, I had to wait. <laughs> you had to I was being you a slut. Like, you were being a slut. I was all for it. And Michael was for it. Michael was like, good. turns me on. Oh, good. Like, when he pimps out his partner. That's good. I'm happy to be pimped out, honey. You better be, because there's no alternative. Honestly, I'm, ready, not gonna I'm ready to have an OnlyFans, because I feel like I'm, you I'm a brand. Could. I'm a brand. Yeah. I think that shower picture I briefly kind of saw out of the corner of my eye, that's an OnlyFans photo. I'm hot. That would do well on OnlyFans. Yeah. Like, honey, yeah. I was going to post it maybe on, like, Twitter. Yeah, but I just need to. I'm not even hard in the picture though. I'm just like, oh, that wasn't even hard. Oh, you are thick. He's thick, everyone. You're an asshole, and I don't like you. But that's not the button I wanted. So no, we gotta get rid I, of the those. buttons. Suck right now. Wow, you are really judging. So, so anyway, hangovers. So my cure, though, honestly, is to kind of drink again. You know, <laughs> what did I do? It's at, the only what did I do at the 65th anniversary? I had prosecco. I felt better. See, and then after you also two proseccos. I was like, I'm fine. You pick something that's like that's that why fine. brunches on Sundays with gays. I think that's yeah. why we drink because we have mimosas. Because we're, we're like, like, you're not gonna, yeah. And then you're drunk again. You're like, <laughs> I'm it's fine. fine. You almost have to get drunk. Okay, so you get drunk, you're hungover, then you have to kind of like drink a little bit, you but don't not have to as get much drunk. as night Yeah, like out. I wasn't drunk. No. I just had two. You get a little tipsy. Then I had a third and fourth, and then you I get felt tipsy. fine. Yeah. Then you're fine. I was like, I'm fine. And the next day and you're I like, to bed. Oh, I'm still a little bad. Like not I was not as bad. And Sunday I went out. Sunday night I went out, I went to the strawberry jam. Oh fuck. And then I went out to AWOL for the phone party. So yeah, like Sunday I was better. Monday I was great. I was struggling um, until I made my vodka from last night. I was gonna say Monday you threw up, traveled, and then made a vodka drink and when I was you got sweating home. Sweating so bad on the plane. I was gonna say like, you were probably because oh. so, the hangover sweats. Like you're just like I'm hot. It's a real thing. I'm hot. I'm I was hot. So, oh, I had the fucking yeah. You're like the emergency. I had the emergency exit. Okay, good. I'm not I'm just not, exit. Oh. I had the emergency exit. But I had to fan myself. I was like fan, fan, fan. We have a fan listening. And we have one. ask us a question. We need just one question. Um. So yeah, I was like fanning myself. Anyway, fanning your. So whenever you're hungover, like, and no offense, but if you're in your early 30s, just wait. Yeah, it gets worse, obviously. And it, now that Bobby's 40, it's even worse. I'm not 40. I'm not even 39. Well, but you look 40. I look hot. Sorry. Oh, and then also. Mm, we'll see. Um, sundry. Sundry. Yeah, sundry. I have a sundry. My sundry is more a celebratory sundry, and oh. that I'm going to see Beyonce in Toronto. In July, July 8th. I'm going for July 7th, 8th, and 9th. You're going to Toronto. Toronto. And um, where are your seats? Third row. Um, <laughs> so we're going to see ah! Queen, Queen Bay. Queen Bay. Queen Bay. Actually, there's two people in here now. Yeah, they heard Queen Bee. Ask a question. Yeah, ask a question. Oh, wow. <laughs> I look like shit. First of all, you don't even know who they are. They might not even speak English. Well, if they don't, they just don't. They might be here for their. There's AI that can translate. Pleasure. They might want the looks. They might oh, want they, the want, looks. they want these titties. Oh fuck. Oh my god, it's a puffy nipple today. It's puffy as fuck. Yeah, I was gonna say. They get puffy. Wow. Okay, let me sit up straight. If we have viewers. Oh fuck. We uh yeah, just ask us a question. We're wrapping up though. Please God. So you're going to Toronto for Beyonce. So that's Beyonce. my Sundays. I'm going to Toronto with H my new new. 
I wanted to ask you about your new. I wanted to ask you about Labor Day. Oh, okay. Do you think that we should just do a shorter trip so we can use yes. Labor Day? Because I think yes. he was upset about the Labor Day. I know. I'm worried now. So don't be worried. Um, okay. Because I was like, I want kind of a solo trip. We could do a three day trip. So we need to plan a three day like trip in the summer. Sun, yeah. Sunday on a week. Okay. So and I got trips planned too that I'm playing with Michael. Like, oh no, we're what? Going, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to travel myself. You're allowed to go <laughs> not if you Gallivant, skip me. Gallivant in Toronto, and all of a sudden now I have a fucking plan, and all of a sudden we're, we're you've had plans the past four weekends. I don't have a chance to travel with you, bitch. You bitch. Were, you're in Italy. I don't want to hear it. And there's three now. What the fuck? There's three people now watching. People are off work now, bitch. It's six p.m. Mm. Anywho, so anywho, we're going to a gay campground. Are you going to Riverside or um, where's that or Lake Edge or Lake? Okay. Try English. Uh, Try English, honey. I'm gonna feel my titty. <laughs> uh, no, I was talking about. Um, I thought you were talking about you when you were going to Toronto. Uh huh. You're going to a gay campground? No, not in Toronto. Okay, no, I'm thought. staying in a five star hotel. I would never go to a campground in Toronto. Even if there was a slurp wall. What's that? Uh, it's a wall that's full of slurp. Oh, that'd be fun. And I want to go to that place. And it's a stairway, so you can stand up. So the guy can stand up so the guy sucking doesn't have to be on their knees. Oh, so they're on a platform above you, so their dick's right at mouth level. Oh, I like that. Did That's you participate in, in no, that? No, it's in Toronto, but I know. Where is it? On the edge of the lake. It's on the lake. I'm getting nervous. Is it an actual campground, though? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a gay campground. But can you get there from the city easily? I don't know. That's where I was like, oh, I don't know if you had looked at I'm not out. renting a car. Like, look at me. Honey, look at me. Look can at Can somebody ask us a question, please? Please. Okay, so that's great. You're so, gonna get a five star, five star hotel. So rooftop, we're, we're it has putting a rooftop some money pool. down for. Um, it has a rooftop pool. Yeah. Oh, that'll be hot. We're gonna do dinner, even though it's not like obviously a top rated restaurant. We're gonna. I planned for now dinner in the tower. So you, like you sit and it spins around, on. goes slowly around, so you see the whole city. <sighs> I hope you're getting overtime. Oh, I'm working overtime. Honey. Yeah, if you, you know need what a, I mean. Honey, you need to be working on every day possible. <laughs> I'm oh I'm fucking working. Um, I have a sundry. Yeah, what's your sundry? It's actually bitch? very simple. Um, I think it's really funny when a pilot uh, tells the kids after the flight that <laughs> that wasn't that great of a landing. I guess you guys could have fucking landed the plane, or you guys could have landed the plane better than me. <laughs> it's not true. I was like, a child could not land a plane. I'm like, why do we land so bad? So my yeah, half the time they don't land well. But it's like, what's going on here? That there's literally no problem here. There's no no weather. AI could do it better. Well, and they will soon. Yeah. Um, By the way, we don't need pilots. Like they're literally. Let's be honest. Wait, this is why would we need pilots? We don't need pilots. We don't need air traffic control. No, we don't even need. We can have a bag air traffic control for sure. Like you don't. They'll be able to. They'll be like. Turn we right. can track the plane everywhere. Like we don't need a human be like, here it is, it's coming in. Actually, those, quick, change everything. Like we don't need that. You know what's really crazy? So on Delta, if you're a Sky member, you get like full Wi-Fi now. I guess. Like, oh yeah, honey, board. yes, yeah. So I was on flight. I was on radar. Delta One recently. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I was on Delta uh, One. I know. I um I got on the flight map so I could see the planes, and I was watching our plane fly. Yeah. Then I listened to the tower in Columbus as we were coming in. It was like two four four. Uh, right, heading one eight zero. I was like, "Oh my god, I'm listening to the tower, and I'm in the plane." That's so weird, isn't that weird? Like, I could, it's kind of scary. Like, thinking, you are AI. I am. You're just the. That dumb was an guy. AI, though. That was. Like, I wouldn't say intelligent. I would. I say think I'm learning. artificial. I'm a learning learner. AI. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a special learner in the AI. You're still in the coding phase. Yeah, we're so, not. We're not going to release you to the public. You're beta. I am a beta version. You're a beta, and I'm an alpha. Hello. And I'm not. You're Delta. I'm Delta Chi. So, pilots out there, let's work on our landings. Um, Please. Thank you for. I'm getting jiggled up. I love when I land. It's like. <laughs> when I'm like, oh, fuck my tits. Oh, these puffy. It's true, though. It's true. They puff. You jiggle when you land. You're like, and you're like. And then when you don't even know you're landing, you really juggle, jiggle because you can't brace yourself. So you're just like. Before you have another seizure, we should say thank you for joining us on our 200th episode. Yes, thank you so much. Please give us a call at 614-721-5336. That's 614-721-5336. You can also email me at she's not doing so well at gmail.com. I'm not changing that email address because I, I would never. There's too many things. It's good. It's good. So yeah, we'll be back for 201 next week. Yeah, I don't know what we have in store. I mean, who knows? We'll figure it out. We always do.
Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Anything, Great. anything else you want to say? No, that's it. Okay, literally fa- over. Mods, fast plots. Okay. Um, thank you for joining us, and thank you for our YouTubers that came uh, at the last minute and didn't say that they were here. Like you could have at least texted something, and that's on God. Period. They just want to see us big fat boys. They just want to see them. They want these big fat boys. Okay, make sure you hit stop on. Yeah, it is one.